Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Zach Cameron. I thank you so much for clicking on today's Mail Monday video, guys. The Mail Monday weekly series where I answer your guys' questions down below in the comments. So if you'd like your question to be answered in next week's Mail Monday, be sure to leave a comment down below. So let's get straight into it, guys. We've got tons of new questions. I'm sorry I wasn't able to do it last week, but now I'm doing a new schedule on my YouTube channel. So pretty much, I'm going to be consistently uploading three videos a week and what I mean by that we're gonna be always seeing the mail Monday video I'll be trying my best to make sure that gets up every single Monday on Wednesdays we're gonna be doing rumor roundup slash all the gaming news updates that we got into this week's news and on Friday it'll be GTA funny moments followed by possibly Minecraft you know I'm gonna be trying to do this schedule throughout my channel I'm going back to school I won't have time to make my crazy amount of videos that I used to do so I'm gonna try to keep to that schedule throughout the week maybe on Tuesday Thursday Saturday Sundays if something important comes up I'll try my best to make a video during that time question number one comes from pz wider which game do you think is better the last of us gt5 i couldn't choose so okay this is a tough question the last of us is probably one of the best multiplayer co-op experiences i have ever played when it comes to the playstation 4 xbox one or anything can't really say for pc because i don't know if there's any game really like it and counter-strike go of course is an awesome game but the last of us is definitely one of the best games I've ever played, but Grand Theft Auto 5, man, you can't go wrong with it. If you're a noob or if you're an experienced player, it's just an overall fun game, and it's there for everybody, okay? If you like shooting, you can play shooting. If you like third-person cooperative play funny moments type of video, you can do that. If you like racing, if you like going off-roading with your favorite truck, everything is in Grand Theft Auto 5, so that way, I'm gonna have to give it over to Grand Theft Auto. Coming in at number two, we got Average Soap. Uh, which Assassin's Creed uh, location would you like to see next? So, we've had a lot of unique locations when it comes to Assassin's Creed, Rome, the Caribbean, and today's France. Well, I guess you could say 19th century, 18th century France. Uh, if I was to choose what location it would be, okay, it would be Germany. And it'd be during World War II, okay? I really would like to see some kind of uh, historical timeline period that Assassin's Creed could bring their own history and their own ideas into that maybe we have like the Assassin's Creed guys actually assassinate Hitler and make it seem like a suicide you know something awesome like that something in the grand scope that actually people know the history because everybody knows the French Revolution history by now and it's kind of boring it's been done to death we already know what happens and Assassin's Creed I've I beat the game and it just wasn't that wow when it came to uh the, the storyline you know and I think actually making a World War II type of century Germany would be a lot more interesting you wouldn't have to deal with so many NPCs and making the game run so bad because Assassin's Creed Unity it runs terribly you know I was trying to defend it but after playing GT5 on the next generation consoles it's there is no excuse okay we have 30 player online we got animals everywhere we got buildings we got incredible daylight sunset physics all of that is in GTA 5 and it runs perfectly there's very rarely ever any frame drop coming in and number three is heyday what are your thoughts on gta 5 in first person so i love right the thought of five for its first person new mechanic it really does change the game i never thought this could be a new game mode when it came to first person view when it comes to combat i i said it automatically locked first person view you know i don't like to shoot in any other type of view it has to be in first person view third person view although it is good and it does have certain type of advantages it's just so much awesome quick scoping and grenade launching people in first person view that why would you ever want to go back and it definitely does show what rockstar can do with the new generation consoles i can't wait to see what else they're going to be doing with grand theft auto 5. And then at number four, we got CJ Henry. What would you do if you were the most sub YouTuber? Well, first of all, I quit my job, quit school, and come make videos for you guys every single day. And probably make like six videos a day. It would be going from news to funny moments. That's all I would be doing, but unfortunately, that is not reality, and I can't be doing that. You know, it was nice getting the boost of views and subs when GTA 5 came out, but it's not like last year, where I was like one of the top three GTA 5 YouTubers ever pretty much and I gave I had like two million views in one day when GTA 5 came out I hit a couple hundred thousand last week it's nothing compared to last year this channel is not as big and I doubt it ever get up there but uh, I'm glad for everybody's support coming in last at number five Yusuf Hanamda do you think Rockstar is going to start making us pay for DLCs from now on since the game is out on next in I enjoy free DLC and hopefully they stay stay with that ways okay 
Uh, when it comes to free DLC, I imagine the monthly DLC, like the heist and all that kind of things, will be free. We're getting new cars, that will be free. Getting new guns, that will be free. But when it comes to storyline DLC, that's where I think it will be different. If you guys remember Battle of Gay Tony, The Lost and Dam, those kind of DLCs definitely should be paid for. You know, there's a lot of story work going into there, voice acting, mocap, all of this stuff is putting a lot of work into Grand Theft Auto. It's not as easy as just making a brand new car and putting it in the game where people buy shark cards. No, I imagine that kind of DLC could go for $20 and you never know, it could be like a completely sold separately game like they did for Grand Theft Auto 4. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to click the red subscribe button to join the Saiyan Army and to be sure to stay tuned for my upcoming videos. Hopefully you did enjoy it and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace everyone.